Now, let me come back to the idea about the long run and the short term. The long run is a neoclassical idea. Yeah, the neoclassical economists are thinking that markets are working almost perfectly. Perfectly, we're talking about uh, markets of perfect competition. Seems to me it's a very important assumption behind these ideas. Yeah, for the long run, that we're talking about markets very close to the perfect competition, the theory for microeconomics, and therefore. As I mentioned before, because everybody's already working, all factors of production are employed, there is not unemployment, you can produce only at this point, that you cannot produce more. And therefore, you can represent the level of output to level of GDP just as this vertical line. What this means, we are producing here and no more. It could be, we know that, for a very short, uh, for a very brief period of time, very short period of time, that you're producing a little bit more, but just immediately coming back to this point. Um, for instance, Lopez Obrador is uh, in Mexico now is creating these new universities, but actually unemployed. And let me assume that all professors in this country are already working. And probably because I like Lopez Obrador, I will say, okay, yeah, I will be working in your university. But how long I can be doing something like that? Because I already am working here full time, and therefore probably I can be given, uh, I can give a class in, in the in these universities by Lopez Obrador could be one semester, but actually one year or just for a long period of time will be just impossible for me. I cannot be working 16 hours every day, even when actually I'm doing something like that, yeah? But it's something that will be very difficult. So if all people is already working, all factors of production are already working, it's just impossible to produce more and you will be always here. Then here we have the aggregate demand. Do not forget aggregate demand equals consumption plus investment plus government spending plus net exports. We focus later here. When we're talking about government spending, we're talking about this fiscal stimulus quite popular in the US. We're talking about the airport in this country. We're talking about uh, the train, the Maya train here in Mexico. We're talking about building uh, new schools, universities, hospital, and so on. Yeah, so all the government spending is here in the aggregate demand. We're spending more yeah, to try to stimulate this aggregate demand and then shifting this line to the right and up. But if you are doing something like that, you are not increasing your level of output. Everybody's already working because my assumption is that I am in the long run and therefore you are just creating inflation. My price level here, we change to this other point, yeah? And then you are creating inflation, increasing the price level only. By contrast, your minor Keynes used to to argue that that is not the case. Usually we are in the short run, yeah? There is nothing as the long run. And then what we're observing is that there is always factors of production who are not working. There is always people who is not working and therefore there is always capital and land that are not working. And therefore always is possible to stimulate the aggregate demand to increase the level of this output. Given the situation, yeah, the price level is not moving. At this price level, yeah, the, the average prices of all goods and services will not be changing if there is unemployment. Therefore, when the government is spending more for a new school, for a new university, for a new airport, for a new freeway, et cetera, et cetera. So you are shifting the aggregate demand curve to the right and up, and you will find a new equilibrium point here. There is not inflation, prices are constant, but you are increasing your level of output this change from here to here, that is economic growth. It, that is the situation. And therefore, most of the time we're analyzing what is the situation in my country? We are in the short run, we are in the long run. What did you mean by unemployment? There is always pressure on unemployment. What could be the natural rate on unemployment? Uh, what is the situation in countries as Mexico where the informality is so big? Yeah, and will not be easy actually to observe what is happening with your economy. Well, this is the kind of situation that later we'll be discussing in deep. Yeah, for now, what is important for you to understand the difference between the short run, the long run, and the most basic idea from this model, the most basic model in macroeconomics, aggregate demand, aggregate supply. Now